Okay, hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata Hadoop World in New York City. I'm here with Jack Norris from MapR. Jack, how you doing? Good. Good. So you gave a keynote yesterday and you talked about the myths of Hadoop and, and big data. Can you um, elaborate a little bit and tell us what you think the greatest myths are around this? I think the biggest myth is that Hadoop isn't ready for prime time, that, um, that organizations can't get immediate value today. And you know, yes, we're seeing organizations start at very different places, but it's amazing how once they get the technology into their organization, how quickly that multiplies, both in terms of the amount of data they start pouring in and the amount of diverse use cases that they perform on the platform. But, it, it, but it's not ready for prime time. So, well, the myth, I think, is that, well, what's your perspective as you look at Hadoop? So there's some people standing from the enterprise data warehouse and say, well, you know, we've had this data warehouse for 30 years. Look at all the master data management and all the capabilities and all the advanced SQL tools that we have going against that platform. And they try to have a checklist to, to use against Hadoop for that. And Hadoop is doing some incredible things to offload data from a data warehouse. It's doing some incredible operational a task that take high arrival rate machine data and do automated responses to that. Um, so not really a human intervention as part of that step for fraud detection, recommendation engines, using sensor data for predictive analytics, just incredible, um, incredible use cases. And those are being used today. The, I think the difference comes into what are the capabilities for the platform itself? And <clears throat> If you're in the experimental phase, you're just looking for what is Hadoop, how can I use it, what are the applications. Once it goes into production, mm -hmm. then you need those production features of HA and data protection and mirroring and disaster recovery. And I think that's the gap, people understanding, well, what are the capabilities in the platform in which they're running? So that gap you know, may be a reality, but what other realities are happening around Hadoop in, in an enterprise, let's say, that uh, an organization that wants to move to a Hadoop-based uh, platform, what are they going to realize? What are they going to get from doing that? Well, there's, there's, there's the incredible difference in cost to process and store the data. So, today if you look at a, a terabyte of information, and I'm going to put that in a data warehouse, it's about fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000 a terabyte. In Hadoop, you're using raw SATA drives, and it's a few hundred dollars. So the biggest jump they get is this incredible cost differential, and they're able to store a lot more data. Now the second is that the analytics that are possible, it's dramatically different. So traditional approaches, the cost curve is, is exponential. So the bigger the data set, the more expensive the iron, the more expensive the product. So you're rewarded to sample the data. You're rewarded to take it into a, a subset, do it on a desktop, do some statistical model and say, well, this is generally what's going on. With Hadoop, you've got building blocks that you can add and it's basically a linear and it's relatively flat. So I'm looking at all the data and instead of modeling, I'm saying, what's that anomaly? What's that anomaly? How do I eliminate them if they're cost or risk? Or how do I multiply them if they're positive surprises on the revenue side? Yes. So you've talked a little bit about myths, a little bit about reality. What do you see as the challenges for the data community and especially around Hadoop going forward? The biggest challenges. Probably the, there's, there's a challenge from the administrator side and that is really around the applying the same SLAs, kind of the same requirements for their lights out data center products today with Hadoop. And actually, you know, that's MapR's focus, is doing the architectural work underneath and having the platform in which Hadoop can run to meet those most challenges. There's a challenge from the developer side to really look and expand their toolkit of the things they do on the data and look beyond, I mean, SQL's important, provides a lot of capabilities, but there's so many unstructured data sources and machine learning capabilities and 
different algorithms that can be unleashed that really can, can change the way they process and gain insight and gain value from the data. So change the way they process and gain value and, 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 and that. So if there was one thing that you could change personally in the world by using big data, what would that be? You know, there's a, there's a, a world of things you can throw data at Hadoop. Yes. And I mentioned some you know, yesterday, things you know, like garbage and the Universal ID project for India. Yeah. Um, I think I'm motivated a little bit the, about this because uh, I have a daughter that went through um, a, a, a medical issue and it was a long process and at the end it was, an, the diagnosis was unexplained chronic nausea and vomiting. It was, it was ridiculous. Unexplained. Yeah. Um, so I think healthcare is, is ripe for big data. Um, to understand not only the, the patient's underlying genomics that can, can lead to health, but understanding the event-based outcomes. Instead of what we're treating a symptom, does that actually have an impact? And collapsing the layers of, of you know, payment and insurance to the ultimate physician. I mean, I, I guess from, from the wide view, the amount of GNP we spend on healthcare, the amount of data that's there, I think we can have dramatic impacts with big data. Okay, so that was your personal one. Now, stepping into your MapR role, um, what, what is MapR going to tackle in the future? Now, and not, not necessarily problem sets, but where are you guys going to go in the future? So, we view Hadoop as the biggest paradigm shift to hit enterprise computing, well, in my lifetime. It is, it's a huge yeah. change. And to really maximize that impact, that stack has to be as bulletproof and as performant and as easy to manage as possible. And that's, that's our mission. And we started at the, the lowest layer and we continue to add and add and build on top of that. The latest was our security announcement where we did architectural changes underneath to integrate security into that platform, support Kerberos, support native authentication, and um, you know, we'll continue to do that and basically raise the, raise the boat for all the other ecosystem components and, um, and applications. Excellent, excellent, Jack. We look forward to seeing you and your MapR colleagues at Future Strata and Hadoop World. Thank you. Thank you.